The Change Foundation is an independent, non-profit, think tank organization based in Toronto with a, a provincial mandate. We do exactly this sort of work, bring groups together, uh, and in this case we, we fund both PATH and Panorama, and we're hoping that today bears lots of fruit as the two groups meet for the first time. The Panorama panel started the day at the hotel in Toronto and after breakfast they got on a bus for an hour and a half ride out to Coburg. So I'm really looking forward to the day today because we're bringing together two separate groups of people that have been working with the Change Foundation over the last year. We have our PATH group which is the Coburg group of patients and providers who are really trying to reorganize the care in their community and we have the Panorama group which is our citizens panel who are coming from all over the province to hear what PATH is up to. So we're engaging with these groups to really look at how do we fix the process of care for people with, with chronic disease as they move in and out of the healthcare system in, in Ontario. I'm expecting to see a process that, it, that is being put forward as an option for the system. Uh, I want to see it for myself, and evaluate it for myself and see whether I think it is appropriate for the province as a whole. Today I'm hoping to find out more about the transition that people move between hospital and home care. Um, I hope we'll get a chance to see an example where the healthcare system is working with um, with patients and patient groups and other community organizations to, uh, to implement uh, patient-centered um, changes in the healthcare system to, to improve the patient experience. The day here started with some formal introductions from the Northumberland Hills Hospital CEO and from the Change Foundation's chair, Sheila Jarvis. And then the two groups got to know each other. They started with general introductions and where they're from and moved into a discussion of their shared health experiences and the work that the PATH Coalition is doing here in Coburg. I was uh, appreciative of getting to sit at tables with all of the different elements in the, in the process because we're all sort of coming from a slightly different perspective on our panel. Meeting with the people from the PATH group felt good. They had the same ideas that we had from a little bit different direction. It really created a good um, environment to work things out. Making change in healthcare is hard. Um, if we're all concerned and we're also listening to the voice of the patient, um, it brings us to a common, a common set of values, a common interest, and frankly, it makes us all behave better because, you know, the patient's in the room. Healthcare is a really human experience. Medicine is, you know, I think the definition of medicine is to relieve human suffering. And we can see from those working group, um, particularly with the health links, um, I, I know that there's n not one started in my area yet, but I'm really excited to see how that will pan out. Health Links is a provincial government program that is very similar to the Foundation's PATH work, so we're very proud that um, the government chose to copy what we were doing. We take that as a compliment. So they have announced 19 communities in Ontario who are bringing together their providers and their patients to try to look at uh, what they could do to improve care locally. We could never have done 19 communities as a Change Foundation, so we're really very, very pleased that the government has decided to take up this program of work. So sometimes we talk in generalized terms, like we can do this better. What is this? We can do things better. What are the things? So this project with caregivers and patients at the table, they're, they're not, those words aren't going to be generalized terms. We, we represent different age groups, different you know, nationalities, different ethnic backgrounds, that really being a cross-section of the people of this province, that collectively our voice can be that collective voice of Ontarians with regards to what we, what we hope our healthcare system to become. Why I'm, I'm honoured to be a part of PATH is because we get to provide an opportunity for the patient to use their voice in uh, tearing the walls down and telling us how they want the walls to be rebuilt. I, I'm dealing with some circulation problems so I have to go to Winnipeg 
to see a specialist, but then I fell and broke my wrist in April and I had to go to Thunder Bay to get it set because they couldn't get it set in Fort Francis. So I'm just traveling down the highway and experiencing all kinds of things with our health system right now. So that's why I wanted to come. The transition problems we're seeing is that's really based around communication. Not knowing who I am, not knowing what I should be doing, and maybe not even being clearly uh, explained what's going on with them. Often they feel that they are more of a number or a disease as opposed to um, actual person. I think when it works well, it's when there is strong communication um, and uh, less of a do for and it's more do with, very collaborative. When it doesn't work well, which I would say is the majority of the time, is when we blame others, uh, when we forget about the patient and the caregiver and we focus more on um, speed and time. The solutions that we came to basically were a core solution that we're all aiming for, the same goal. The energy and excitement in the room um, was something I'm going to take away from today. Um, it's having the Panorama group there too um, is another sort of extension of the program and a development and I thought that was really neat to have everybody together and sharing their experiences so I think taking away from today is to what are the next steps and how can we get involved. At first we thought we could be more we'd probably be more in the periphery but I see more of a, a active involvement with the group. I love what the Change Foundation has done to have this pilot project running at the same time with all this input from the rest of the province. I see it as really being worthwhile and very very hard at some point for people to ignore. And maybe that's the most important part. You know, they can't ignore the input. So it's just been amazing that we could be uh, together today and I am starting to feel like this is part of a family. So like families, we are committing to reunions on a very regular basis, so this will not be the last time that you hear from us.